So as you can see, I put the full workout on the whiteboard below, and I started off with the stiff-legged deadlifts instead of the barbell rows. So right here, this is my second warm-up set of doing stiff like a deadlift. So I'm trying to get myself a good camera angle right here so you guys can see that at the bottom of the mo movement, before I even begin my first rep, I'm getting my upper back tight. So that way I'm in a good position to do the movement. After performing these first two warm up sets, I went on to do five working sets of 10 to 12 reps before moving on to my next exercise, which is the barbell rows. I don't care if you judge, act like a bitch, I give no love. Speed right by, no time for the slugs, y'all all blacked out, no time for the buzz. Yeah, approach the game like a confrontation, people always trying to make conversation. I'm a quiet kid, not a lot of patience, steady making hits, check the operation like, whoa, lights go dim when I come through, feeling so numb to pain. This day I stuck with 175 pounds for 5 sets of 10 to 12 reps. Make these sounds, I'll shake the ground Got haters all looking, trying to break me now Zoned in, locked in the target, ready, set, bam I'm never gonna fake these sounds like, no The world can be so dark and so cold Changing people's thoughts, let the darkness unfold, fall, fall Shadows as I travel through the night, yeah Lighting up the path as I glow like I'm on a black light, light And this is just a di another angle of me doing my stiff legged deadlifts in a different set. And following after this, you're going to hear me give a tutorial on how I perform my barbell rows and different ways to do them. All right, everyone. So I'm going to give you guys proper form on how to do a barbell row. There's two different ways to do it, really, or two primary ways you should be doing barbell rows. And one way would be to grab the bar like this, overhand grip, overhand grip. So I'm not grabbing the bar in an underhand grip like I would where I, I would be doing curls, for example. And one way to do it would be to row, starting right here, and to keep your back in the same position at 90 degrees, and that would primary target the lats. The way I do it is I go up a little bit higher to about 60 degrees or 45 degrees and row to my belly button. Same range of motion. The only difference is the angle. So the angle, the further more upright you do a row, the further more tension you put on your middle back and your upper back. Whereas the closer you are to the 90 degrees, the more tension you're putting on your lats to get the width. So I'll demonstrate a set right here with the working weight of 180 pounds. This is my third working set. Two more after this. Like I'm changing faces, man, I wrote the story.
story and I'm changing pages Doing what I love till I claim the greatest Like yeah, double the tempo, I'm making this music Go straight to your temple, I shop with my pencil I'm giving you real, owning the fakes while you act like a rental Yeah, never the type to be average I gamble like 21, man, I'm a savage I'm living so lavish with dreams in my head Ain't holding me down, man, I'm cutting the lead Yeah Alright everyone, so last but not least, like I said, I will be hitting my one arm rear delt rose. Try saying that without fucking up your words, right? <laughs> one arm rear delt rose, right? <laughs> so, what I'm going to be doing is, I either arm on the chair, if you're using your right arm, put your left foot forward, your right foot back. And it's similar to as you're doing a dumbbell row like this, the only difference is you're doing an overhand grip like so, and also not quite doing a reverse fly like that. A reverse fly would be keeping your arms as straight, almost as straight as possible. Whereas with a row, a rear delt row, you're combining a row and you're with a fly. So you're doing a motion like so. So you're coming up almost like if you were to throw a curveball in baseball, for those of you who are familiar with pitching, where you keep your arm at an angle like this and come down. But instead, you're doing that almost in reverse, like that. And I will be doing this for four sets of 10 to 20 reps. I usually do between three and five sets of these. Today I'm doing four, somewhere right in the middle. Welcome be so dark and so cold. Changing people's thoughts, let the darkness unfold, fall, fall. Shadows as I travel through the night, yeah. Lighting up the path as I glow like I'm under black light. for the other side I'll take the chair and literally flip it over just like that or bench whichever you're using and repeat now I've